Hi everybody, today is part one of my Altec Lansing special. We have the Hydra Mini 2.0, the Hydra Jolt 2.0, and the Hydra Motion 2.0. This is the Altec Lansing Hydra Mini 2.0. It's only about a pound, but this speaker packs a punch. It comes in white, black, gray, and this baby blue. Controls are fairly standard. We have power, play, pause, volume down previous track, digital voice assistant, volume up next track, and TWS mode. TWS is true wireless stereo. Using that feature, you can connect two of these speakers wirelessly together for a true left and right channel stereo experience. Underneath this panel, we have the USB-C charging port. There are three mounting options. One is this carabiner. They also include this screw mount. The back is also magnetic. It's not that strong of a magnet though, so I don't think I would trust it on a moving vehicle. It takes about three hours to fully charge the battery and the manufacturer rates this battery at 12 hours of playback. Normally those tests are done at 50% volume. However, I'm suggesting you will get less than that because you will want to run this speaker loud. Yes, it sounds fantastic. Even at 95% volume, this can handle the deepest of bass. And there is no upper limit for treble. Sure, they only rate the speaker at 8 watts, but you can use every one of those watts. This can take it, and it sounds great. This speaker is rated IP67 waterproof. That means you can fully submerge the speaker at a depth of 3 feet for 30 minutes. And I tested it, and it worked just fine. Certified waterproof. I never really took speakerphone functionality as anything but a joke, but I recently had somebody ask me about the speakerphone capabilities of a Bluetooth speaker. So somebody must like it, and I've tested it, and it works just great. What is missing on the Hydra Mini 2.0? Well, I don't know if you noticed, but there are no RGB lights on this speaker. That doesn't bother me, but it might bother you. There is also no TF card slot, U drive slot, uh, 3.5 millimeter auxiliary input, nothing. It's Bluetooth only. Oh, one more thing there is no power bank feature on this speaker. That's not what I want a Bluetooth speaker for, but like, Everybody wants something different. I love the Hydra Mini 2.0. It sounds fantastic at every volume level for every kind of music, except the super deep, deep bass. Then you have to turn it down just, just a hair. Just turn it down a hair and it'll sound fine. I appreciate that they did not overdrive the speakers. It sounds great. I'm not going to rate it for things that it doesn't do because it doesn't say that it's going to do it. But I will say that the magnetic mount is weak, cannot use it on a moving golf cart. Other than that, I'm going to give this a 4 out of 5. I would almost give this a 5 out of 5. If it weren't for the weak magnetic mount, it would be 5. But if you don't care about the magnetic mount, get the speaker. I love it. It's so small. It's so light. It sounds so good. It's an easy win. This is the Altec Lansing Hydra Bolt 2.0. It comes in black, red, blue. Can you tell what color this one is? It's red. <laughs> That's the, the only color you see is there's a faint background color under the grill here, and also the accent colors are red. That's the only difference. One of the first things I noticed about the Hydrobolt 2.0 is this gorgeous RGB lighting display. There are several modes to choose from, or you can turn it off, but I think the RGB lighting system is one of the premier features of this speaker. Controls are somewhat standard for a Bluetooth speaker. You have the power button, the TWS mode, the lighting control, previous track volume down, the voice assistant mode, and next track and volume up. I tried the digital assistant feature with this speaker and it works fine. I also made a voice call. That works fine. If you care about that feature, it's here and it sounds good. Behind this panel, we have the USB-C charging port and a USB power bank port. For mounting options, you have this beefy carabiner. You also get a screw mount and you also get a very powerful magnet. 
you will have no trouble attaching this to a moving golf cart and it will stand secure in any terrain. The Hydrobolt 2.0 has dual 6 watt drivers for a total of 12 watts. It also has dual passive radiators in the back. You can fully charge this speaker in about three hours. Now the manufacturer claims you will get 16 hours of playback on that three hour charge. Normally that test is done at 50% volume, but it will vary depending upon the volume that you use and what kind of music you listen to. If you like a lot of deep bass, then you probably won't want to turn this up past 65% volume. After that, it just starts to distort. If you like mid-ranges and treble, you can go up to 90% volume with no trouble. The manufacturer says this is IP67 waterproof. I ran the test myself and I will certify that yes, you can submerge the speaker in water for 30 minutes at a three foot depth, no problem whatsoever. There is a lot to like about the Hydrobolt 2.0. It sounds great. It's got this beautiful and tasteful RGB lighting display super powerful magnetic mount. I love the threaded mount option. It's just, this is a great speaker. I'm going to give this a four out of five rating just because if you want that deep, deep bass, you can't go past 65% volume. If you don't care about that, consider this a five out of five, but I've got to stick with my gut, four out of five. This is the Altec Lansing Hydromotion 2.0. It comes in this lovely black, but also purple and blue. The Hydromotion 2.0 is rated IP67 waterproof, and I tested it myself. I submerged this underwater for 30 minutes. It came out fine, works great, buttons still worked, no problems whatsoever. Controls are fairly standard. You have the power play pause, RGB lighting effects, TWS mode, and digital assistant. On the other end, we have volume increase and next track, volume decrease and previous track. You do have several RGB lighting effects to choose from. They highlight the passive radiators on the end. You also get dual six watt two inch speakers. They sound really good, but if you're listening to heavy bass, you can't turn it up past 65% volume or you will get distortion. Mid range and treble is no problem. Turn that up to 90% and you'll be just fine. You can fully charge the speaker in about three hours and the manufacturer claims you will get 16 hours of playback on a full charge. They normally test that at 50% volume and that's a reasonable expectation. Behind this panel, you see a USB-C charging port and a USB power bank port. There are several mounting options to choose from. In the picture, they showed this mounted in a water bottle carrier on a bicycle. As you can see, the speaker has feet, so it will sit steady on a flat surface. It also has this handy screw mount, and they include a handy lanyard that I do not want to install, but you might want to. The Altec Lansing Hydromotion 2.0 sounds really good with every type of music, but if you're listening to music with deep, deep bass, you won't want to turn it up past 65% volume. Otherwise, just let it rip. For a speaker of this size, it's actually fairly light. I'm going to give the Altec Lansing Hydromotion 2.0 a 4 out of 5 stars. So far, I really have been enjoying the Altec Lansing Hydro series. The Hydromotion, I think, is best if you are a cyclist. The Hydra Bolt, I would say, is best if you are a golfer. I like the Hydra Mini 2.0 if you are a canoer, kayaker, go tubing, anything having to do with water. This is something small and light. It's got 12 hours of battery and you can throw it in a bag. I hope you enjoyed part one of my Altec Lansing Hydra series special. I've got three more Altec Lansing speakers coming up, but it's going to be a couple of weeks. I didn't want to wait any longer on these. I am excited about this line. I didn't realize they made speakers outside of computer speakers, but they're doing a great job. These speakers sound great. You, you can't really make a mistake here. Thanks for stopping by.